hello friends now let me draw you draw, uh, so write an identity as you heard about this one that is a minus b the whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab this is the formula is it now how to derive this formula that's a question now how to derive now this is nothing but a minus b whole square now you can write it as a minus b into a minus b and thereby just multiplying that you will get this particular result that is okay now question arises how to solve this particular algebraic identity in a different method right for this we will just uh, draw what we will do it will use a simple method now here I have just drawn a straight line is it a straight line in this pool I have divided I will be dividing this particular straight line into two parts let me say this will be I've cut it some portion now this portion is said as something a remaining portion is said to be B now what should be the meaning of this particular line divided into two parts can I write it as a plus B yes now what will be a minus B this can be also written as uh, like this one that is a plus of minus B is it this is nothing but a plus of minus B now how to show a plus of minus b in a in, in a just what I just drawn before like a straight line divided into two parts now how to write a minus b like this that this particular portion is said to be a this particular portion is said to be minus b why minus b because there is, there was a straight line before in which this portion is said to be a this portion is said to be b now in this portion I have removed b removing b is nothing but minus b right now this particular portion has been removed the total length is from here to here is that clear now finally you got a minus b now you have to find out what is the square of this particular portion now what is this is nothing but called nothing but square square means since if you have a line you have a definite uh, length of this particular line is it easy to draw a square with only this much length this is the total length square means all sides having equal distance now what we'll do we'll just draw a square now this is nothing but a square which is can you easily or is it is it visible now from this portion is nothing but called a this portion is nothing but called minus b what should be this length and this length right it should be a this should be minus b now what is the shape of this particular portion which is I'm showing you right now this is a this is a this I think, I think this is nothing but a square square has a definition having all sides equal if this is a this is a and the remaining side should be a yeah now this is nothing but a a and this is nothing but a square now what is the shape of this particular thing this is nothing but a rectangle this is minus b this is minus b now what is this is this is nothing but a now what is this particular shape this is also called a rectangle from here to here this is a now here to here what is it it is a now what is this portion is something but I think it is nothing but minus b this is minus b this is also minus b now if this portion is minus b what is this portion also minus b this portion minus b is it now this is called portion 1 2 3 and 4 is it what is the area of a square a square what is the area of a rectangle length into breadth is it we'll use that formula now what is the total area of this particular square this is nothing but a minus b the whole square right now what is the total area of this square? we'll add each and every individual shape of the this particular area now what is the area of the square a square now let me draw and uh, let me write a square what is the area of this particular portion that is nothing but length into breadth this is, this is nothing but a rectangle is it so this minus b is your length and a is nothing but your breadth now 
this is can be written as plus of minus that is minus b into a now coming back to the third portion this portion is also called a rectangle area of rectangle length into breadth that is a into minus b that is plus minus b into a now the last portion what is this particular shape is called square square minus b therefore will be plus of minus b whole square now the last and the final step this is nothing but called a square plus this is nothing but uh, now this will be written as a square minus of a b this minus b into plus a is nothing but also called minus a b and this particular portion will nothing will becomes minus b square therefore it becomes only b square minus a b minus a b just add it what you will get minus of 2 ab is it this is nothing but a square minus 2 ab that is minus ab minus ab how much you will get minus 2 ab remaining thing this is nothing but b square just add it plus b square uh, this is nothing but your a minus b whole square formula by using geometrical method